everybody, my name is Shauna. And I was working out and I was thinking, you know, working out is just like our life is preparing us for evolution. Our every stage of our life is the next part of our spiritual and soul ev evolution and growth. And working out is we're working out our body. We're preparing it to be healthy. That's what a spiritual journey is doing. Going through a soul growth and evolution period is preparing us. It's preparing our minds, opening up our minds, our consciousness to expand it, to develop it. So we can see past the illusions that are placed before us in on a regular 3D world. I'll tell you a brief uh, summary of my life. I was a business owner prior to getting cancer in 2011. I was very, um, like many people, focused on material gain, social status, what I had, what could I, what could I present myself as having or being, right? And that's what, you know, that's who we become. The first thing people ask are, what do you do for a living? What does it matter what somebody does for a living? I guess it's conversation, but really, somebody wants to see if you're higher in social status, economic status, than the other person. That's a 3D mindset, right? So in 2012, I got uterine cancer. Uh, it was at a later stage, so it had spread through my limb system. 2012, I went through my chemo and radiation. And when you're faced with your own mortality, your perception on life changes. Your perception on what's important changes. Some people will go through a traumatic event and they get right back on that old path, right? Not realizing there was a lesson to be learned. But I could not do that. There was no way the divine God universe source was letting me. Because what God did for me was he took me off one path and he totally put me on another path totally redirected my life where it was once about personal gain now became about service my first spiritual awakening was a stepping stone because we never stay it's only a stepping stone so what happened during that time i was driving to my appointment now remember i'm not in fast speed anymore i am in slow motion because now I'm grasping everything. I see everything. I hear everything. Because my mind has become open to life and life experiences. When before I was just rushing through life, trying to, trying to attain something. So here I am pulling up to a red light. At the end of my street, there's a hotel. And two school buses pull in there and pick up a bunch of kids. Um, Kids live in hotels, families live in hotels. I knew people live in hotels, but I didn't think families live in hotels. It didn't dawn on me. Then I started to look around and I saw these people walking around with backpacks. And I'm like, hmm, carrying blankets or pillows. Where I lived was devastated at the time with homelessness. It's still devastated. It's just, you know, hidden. I told God, you know that verse that says, Use me as you will, right? I am a vessel. Use me as you will. Well, I said that, and God used me. So if you're going to say those words, <laughs> be prepared to be used. So my first spiritual awakening was in service, um, humanitarianism to the homeless, right? Five years, I became an uh, outreach pastor to the homeless. I went back to school to become... Um, uh, to get a degree in religion. And that was the first steps. I was also in a karmic relationship where things were being mirrored back to me, but I didn't know how to heal the things that were coming up. I didn't know what to do with those things. I didn't like the person I was. Even though I was working with the homeless and I was happy, I, it was the best job I ever had. I never got a paycheck for it. And financially, I was struggling. I didn't have money. I didn't have a paycheck. God. Ah! Excuse me, angel tinkles. God blessed me with 
I didn't have to think about that. I didn't think about it. I just threw my life into helping others. So what happened then was when that person finally left my life, I met somebody else and that person reawakened and activated me. So what happens is we go through a certain level of attainment, right? Of spiritual and soul growth. And then our soul says, you are ready for the next level. And then we start on another journey, a more, it's kind of like going from high school to college, right? And there's always learning and there's always healing to do. So now instead of helping the homeless, I help those people who want help. I had to learn to be compassionate. I had to learn compassion and empathy. I had those. I've always had a very soft heart. I'm, all, I'm an empath. But I've learned the tools along the, the line of healing myself, figuring out how to heal the inner wounds, right? To be whole within myself and to be an independent person. One thing that God blessed me with is that I don't have to work. I'm totally dedicated to the journey. I'm total, totally dedicated to my soul's evolution. So that, that's how I got here. It wasn't without, um, you just don't show up being spiritual. You earn your level of spiritual attainment gifts and abilities and the gift I have as a healer it's because it's things you go through in life are preparing you that is your gift to others I want to put that out there whatever you go through in life say you have you're an, you're an addict you have addictions well guess what you're probably meant to help other people achieve empowerment because you have that experience it's whatever your life experience is, that's your gift. It doesn't feel like a gift, but there's always a silver lining. It's always a blessing in disguise. What are you doing? I don't know what they're doing over there. You know, there's always a blessing in disguise. When you think that you're going through your worst moments, that is a blessing. Because you're going to be able to turn around and give somebody the tools to get through it. And they're going to turn to you. Now I don't jump on when I'm going through, I'm in the, the pit of fire and despair and distress because I can't tell you how to get through that. And we also have to be conscious thinkers of what we're putting out into the world. We get activated and as long as you are open-minded, the divine will keep giving you knowledge information. And I think actually it's remembered. They unlock that what you when you came to earth, it's not that you don't, people think that you have amnesia when you first come to earth. I, I don't believe that because as a child, we're these high vibe magical creatures, right? I think it's, you know, when you get in your teenage years and then when you start going out into the world, it gets lost. When people start putting programming into you, they start programming you, generational programming, and they start projecting their wounds on you. That's when it becomes lost. Your knowledge that you had from all your past lives. Well, this is a brief introduction. I hope you got something out of it. As always, I'm sending love, light, and healing. God bless you.